Well, trees, they remove greenhouse gases from our atmosphere and can lower ambient temperatures by as much as six to eight degrees. The group Canopy educates the community about the importance of planting and caring for trees in urban neighborhoods during this long California drought. We thought we'd ask the experts at Canopy to share some tree care tips with us. When planting trees, it's really important to plant drought tolerant trees and that's what Canopy does. And one way that you can cut back on water while still caring for those trees is by watering at the, the right frequency. If you're going to use a hose to water your tree, I recommend whoa, using one of these. It's a, a bubbler nozzle and it allows the water to flow out. I'd actually turn the water down just a little bit and then I place this at the drip line, the edge of the branches. So leave it there for 10, 15 minutes and then move it to another spot around the tree. And what you want to avoid is this runoff here. That's one reason why we use the mulch. That'll help it to slowly percolate into the soil. Mulch, it's simply ground up parts of trees. So we spread it out around the tree. A good thick layer, about four to even six inches deep. You want that a little layer inside of the watering basin for young trees, about an inch thick and then four to six inches outside of the watering basin out to the drip line. This is called the drip line. That's where the maximum amount of uh, feeder roots are located. So we want to get the water right here, a little bit further in and a little bit further out. So that's why we've wrapped this uh, at the drip line. This is a soaker hose um, and it will allow water to be evenly distributed around the tree. You can also buy a five gallon bucket, drill a hole in the bottom, uh, place a couple of those around the, the drip line of the tree, fill those up with water, and then they'll slowly drip into the ground instead of washing away. This is called Netifim. It's an inline drip system, and it has emitters worked into the tubing, and it has a measured amount of water at each emitter. If you're removing your lawn and you want to replace the watering system, this is ideal. We use a, a profile tube, and we want to see what the soil is like 12 to 18 inches under the ground. So if it's dry and crumbly, um, then the, the, it probably needs water. Um, if it's a little bit darker um, and can be rolled like that without falling apart, then it doesn't need to be watered. If it's really dark, wet and sticky, you're probably overwatering your tree. It's really important to involve the kids in our tree plantings. Um, they're the future and they're the ones who are uh, going to be able to appreciate these trees uh, after they're planted and, and when they start to grow as well. All right, and joining me now is Executive Director of Canopy, Catherine Martineau. Thanks for joining us. You're so welcome. there were a lot of great tips in there. What occurs to me is that how many people do you think are actually not caring for their trees properly? I think many people want to, but they not necessarily know how to. Uh, and may many people do not know that trees need supplemental water in the summer, especially during a drought. Especially, I mean, people have turned off their sprinklers. They've just kind of said, you know, this is the way to be responsible. But uh, I thought, you know, that five gallon bucket, people are putting those buckets in their shower and taking over that leftover water. If they do that and throw it in their bucket, their trees would be much happier, right? Exactly. And that's what we uh, want people to know is that we can save water and save our trees at the same time because whatever water you uh, conserve inside or in the landscape elsewhere should go to your trees because they're the most important element of the landscape. You want them to be strong and even safety wise if they have good strong roots and they're not going to fall over because they're not dried out Absolutely. and dying. That's important. Yes. What I love about the tips that you guys gave out, they're pretty simple. And it's not like it's going to use a lot of water. For people worried about conservation, we're not talking about a huge amount of water, right? That's correct. Actually, trees not only do not need a lot of water, but they do a lot for us in terms of water conservation when we have rain. Do you find that people are receptive when they hear about this stuff and it's just a, a lack of understanding? I think it is a lack of understanding or lack of information. We have a lot of information on our website, uh, canopy.org is a good source. And there are also uh, more sources. There's a campaign for the whole state right now called Save Our Water and Save Our Trees. And that can be f easily found. Okay, thank you so much. So much fantastic information, really important for everyone. We'll make sure to link that on our website for everyone at home. All right, thank, thank you, you. Floating.